Hi viewers, today I'm going to show you uh, how to install the Samsung One UI Beta version 4. So this you can do it through the um, members in your phone. You will see a banner on top. So the beta uh, testing has been open from today. So this is the one so if you click on this banner you will be asked whether you want to enroll so I already registered so it shows me a withdraw so once you've done that wait for 10 minutes then go back to your settings and software update you can uh, download it there so uh, I already downloaded I did not start the installation yet so what's new this is the uh, one UI 4 upgrade. This is the beta version. I'm going to test this with Android 12. So it has all the new features and the new uh, UI changes has been put in by Samsung. <clears throat> I will start installing this and um, let's see what are the new um, changes on the UI side we have. Let's start with installation. So um, the installation is completed. So if you look at it, there are changes on the home screen, lock screen, and um, some changes on the uh, charging graphics. And most notably, uh, differences on the camera side and the multitasking. So let me show you um, what are the uh, new changes is here. Before that, I'll show you the. Um, software information so now it is android 12 and one ui4 this is the beta testing i'm doing so uh so overall the dark mode changes are really good uh, starting from the lock screen so if you tap here you can see the widgets here so previously i remember that this uh, background were um, not black they were uh, kind of opaque so now you have a um, more seamless um, dark mode integration here so this is this feels really nice okay let me um, do the multitasking now just pressing it there and put it on a pop-up view so now you can drag the settings anywhere and even you can minimize it so it'll go on the top there so you can do whatever the things you want and you can tap it it'll come back to the same window and you can do what are the actions you want and you, you can even maximize that so that's a cool uh, a new uh, multitasking option that's been uh, provided on the um, one ui4 on the settings nothing must changed it's everything is uh, similar as you can see it on the uh, one ui3 or ui3 and now you have a safety and emergency information which you can provide in the settings so you can provide your medical information um, anything anything related to your uh, medical condition allergies or your blood type or any information you can store on your phone you can put it here uh, also you can put emergency contacts here <coughs> and send a sos message if you're in an emergency all the information you can store right on the settings and i'll show you the notification there is no much of a change on the notification side except for uh, the brightness slider is more bigger and easy to access and it's more uh, visible on the notification and the layout has been changed a bit so you can uh, rearrange everything so nothing much has been changed except for this um, brightness on your um, notification uh, section and that is a lot changed on the uh, camera app if you open the camera app it's more quick and cleaner the UI looks more cleaner and simpler and the zoom are uh, more easier to do here uh, than doing it uh, in the previous version so this is more clean I like this and similarly you can switch between the uh, photography mode portrait or single take or photo or a video whatever the options we can and you can simply uh, 
switch all this um, formats you want everything is more simpler and uh, cleaner I like this change and um, now the photo editing is also been improved um, if you uh, just click on the edit and now you have uh, multiple options here uh, which is the first one is the cropping and you have more filters now you can choose from multiple uh, filters lighting effects also you can change uh, light balance let me put it back to the original one okay then lighting you can choose the brightness the exposure pretty much everything is the same uh, as we seen before and you can add stickers now like this so this was not part of the uh, um, UI 3 now you can add any any stickers you want and you can rearrange it and you can type out of the text you want so you can add um, any call out or any stickers uh, you want to add to your photo and make it more personalized that you can do it right now uh, with the one UI 4 so on the photo editing app now you have an option for editing the light balance so that's the new option you can see at the first so you can adjust the lighting of your photo so which will make a lot of difference as you can see uh, I don't know how much you can see on the screen now so it changes the photo dramatically so that's a new uh, feature being added to the um, photo editing app and now you can add uh, different widgets uh, one cool widget is the clock now you can have um, dual clock widget so you can just choose and add so you can choose two different um, locations choose the one add and choose the second city and you can choose any second sh city which you want let me choose Tokyo so now you can see um, whether it's uh, day or night the color difference you can see just looking at the widget that's another um, cool thing you can turn that off or on so that's the option you can provide here match with the dark mode that's the new change with this so if you look at here previously all the widgets will be having a white or opaque background now if you match with the dark background it changes that so that's a um, neat integration of the dark mode so one of the major changes on the uh, samsung keyboard so now the uh, keyboard is looking um, cleaner and um, the keys are laid out on very well it is much more similar to what we see in the apple uh, keyboard and it does have the shift key so you can uh, just swipe across and get the text and uh, emojis you can uh, customize here you can customize like what are the uh, um, options you want to show it here you can add whatever the uh, new stickers or gif or your new uh, emojis whatever you want to add you can choose an add or you can download and add it directly to your uh, keyboard so that's another uh, new um, changes provided on the um, uh, keyboard so now the always on screen has uh, more options to choose just to um, show the uh, screen always on now you have multiple options um, whether you want to show it always or you want to show you can schedule it or show for the new notifications come in you can keep the um, screen always on if there is a new notifications come in or you, you can even schedule from when to when you can uh, you want to keep the um, always on screen to be scheduled so this is a, a nice feature being added instead of having your um, screen uh, always on which will be affecting your battery life now you can have multiple options so now you can add a, a voice recording as an option on the lock screen itself um, you can directly uh, start recording from your lock screen uh, you can customize that from the settings 
go to the lock screen and uh, shortcuts and now you have option for recorder too so I'll show you the new um, charging animation so that's how the new charging animation it looks cool so the notification all other things nothing has been changed much um, everything pretty much the same um, the changes for UI4 are pretty much subtle uh, then a drastic change like what we've seen on the UI3 um, overall I feel the uh, performance is smooth and sleek and um, snappier and more in line with uh, Android 12 so overall this upgrade is uh, looking um, progressive then a drastic change um yeah if you have any questions or any uh, anything you want to know uh, please put it in the comments i will respond to you uh, as soon as possible if you like this video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to uh, subscribe thanks for watching